Hello again, friends. Today we want to use the words of Psalm 86 to direct our prayers. We begin by acknowledging our need for God and his trustworthy power and presence available to us because we are his sons and daughters. Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I'm devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. And then, along with the psalmist, we come seeking forgiveness and mercy based on God's wonderful character and willingness to be there for anyone who calls on him for help. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I'm calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. And whatever our troubles are today, we should pause and name them before the Lord because he listens and answers specifically especially when we have a sense of urgency and find ourselves in trouble. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble, and you will answer me. You know, in our weakness, God is our strength. And it is so good to remind ourselves of that in God's presence. We're helpless without him. But we can do anything as he works in us, because as the psalmist reminds us, no pagan God is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made will come and bow before you. Lord, they will praise your holy name, for you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. And you know, as God alone is God, we would do well to acknowledge and surrender to his ways, inviting him to teach us his ways, to purify us from whatever self-centered desires seek to keep us from that. So teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. Do you know when we take even a few minutes to pause and reflect on God's help in our lives and to find the comfort and strength that comes when we surrender all the chaotic and concerning things in our hearts and circumstances, then it only makes sense to speak out our gratitude for all he's done. And so with all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord my God. I will give glory to your name forever, for your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. Now from that safe place of being held in the middle of God's great love, we can speak about the enemies that are surely around us and seek to wreak havoc on us and on those we love. And we can affirm that God will act against them on our behalf as we ask him and will give us compassion, strength, unfailing love, and even a sign of his favor as we live with him today. O oh God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them. But you, O oh Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will be put to shame. For you, O oh Lord, help and comfort me. Amen. Well, verse after verse, word after word, the psalmist got it right. You may want to go back and Look over the whole psalm without the interrupted bits that we did. Psalm 86. It's wonderful. Everything that it gives us line by line, idea by idea, to repeat to God as we look at our lives and look at his grace and goodness and help with us. Have a great day today, enjoying the presence of God and leaning on his power.